Hello, welcome to day 19. It sounds like I have a radio voice. So in this episode, I don't know why I'm calling it an episode, in this video, day 19 of my drawing adventure, I am just drawing along, gonna do another more of these videos of just watching me, not really watching myself, what am I talking about? Watching others uh, kind of draw and I'll kind of post myself just drawing along and make a video and see where and how much I've learned progressing it and as a tip I definitely feel like learning or just you know take off the glasses drawing and watching others to draw is definitely a very helpful and it's just intuitive in the sense that like it's just really it's teaching you how to draw each and every um, moment of the way and I feel like this is something that every artist should be able to do as long as they're practicing 15 20 minutes even 10 minutes a day that really adds up right so I was just thinking the other um, today when I was at the gym even if I work out one hour and I work out about three um, three times a week it's still progress and it's still going and moving forward so I want to use this channel to motivate others to be able to continue to draw. I guess this is fun, but it is fun. I and mean, if you enjoy it, then if it's if it's tedious for you, then maybe this isn't really what you should be doing. But other than that, if it's just for fun, something that you enjoy, something that you feel like down the line, you can be proud of yourself. You can show yourself, look, you know, I made this YouTube channel, whatever. I think that's probably the most important thing. At least my takeaway. And um, anyways, yeah. Going back to the gym analogy. Only the one hour a day um, I go to the gym about. And I know some people do about like 20 minutes and such. But I'll use this one hour as an example. I'm going one hour a day. Uh, three times a week. And I do it in a month. That's uh, 3, 6, 9, 12. It's 12 hours in a month. That's a lot. It progresses. It adds up. And I feel like, you know, if we're looking at the analogy of the gym... And to compare it with drawing, it could be the same thing. Because think of yourself in the progress of even a year from now. Like, I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, I notice just slightly, I am slightly getting better, but not really the best. But at the same time, not where I truly want to be. And I feel like I don't think that's what where any one of us really, truly want us to be. Because we're, we're, we're giving this ourselves sorry i think i put the headphones a little bit too close to the mic we're putting ourselves a little bit you know we we have high standards and there's things that we just like take for granted if we're seeing some beautiful anime or or you're watching a show and whatever it's it's a lot of hard work you know you they put a lot of hours behind the scenes and that's why i think like to show yourself here posting youtube and just watching tutorials and practicing you know minute by minute at least that's that's what i've learned so far at least in um my progress in day 19 and you know it doesn't it doesn't probably it's not probably going to get any i don't want to say it doesn't get any better but it definitely is slow to progress in the earlier days maybe later on it'll probably get much better but other than that i mean as long as i put the pen to the paper or to the tablet or wacom tablet or ipad or whatever it is and then making shapes and stuff and i'm just progressing all the way through then i think that's progress even for me like there are some days where i just don't feel like um drawing really to be honest but i force myself i force myself and say hey you know this is the hour this is the time this is it this i have to i have to do this so that's why like i i force myself just to be like hey you know i want to draw seven o'clock p.m or i want to draw one in the afternoon even if it's five minutes go in my car go somewhere um just sit at the table even if you're on lunch break just hit it up hit it up and just practice and just try to get yourself at least put in those hours and minutes and whatever and they really do add up and then you'll probably look back in your life and think wow you know I, i'm glad i was able to at least put in two minutes five minutes whatever it is because it progresses and it, it gets better each and every day and we don't see that we definitely underestimate like how much effort that we put into in the long run so that's what i want to do and i i just want to continue to post these kind of videos to inspire others to be able to draw but 
um, yeah, I mean, my channel is mainly about my drawing journey, but it's also just me kind of just, I guess you could say ranting, but talking, motivating others and just showing that, you know, hey, I'm not really the best artist, but I'm still going to go out there and do it. And I think that's the scary thing, but also liberating thing, because at least you know that there's probably thousands of others out there that are like me and just want to go out there and do, do their thing on here on YouTube and just post and draw and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, there's so many channels out there that want to just, you know, for you to see their work and their beautiful, amazing work. But again, I'm going to post myself drawing here just real quick for a few minutes and let's see if and I progress and also another thing thank you guys so much for your um, kind words I'm very grateful for it and I'm very grateful for your encouraging words as well and to be able to for me to continue on and I really think that like I'm getting feedback here and it's great and I think that's something that like can deter a lot of like new um, content creators that they don't get feedback and when they don't get feedback they they want to give up and I think that's the thing like if we can encourage each other, you know, with whatever we're going through, whatever our hobbies or passion or whatever the the things that we're talented at, whatever it may be, I think it can go a long way. It can truly go a long way. And really, like I said, like it's it's gone a long way for me and I'm very grateful for you guys to be able to do this and tell me this. Thank you very much for that. And um, yeah, I just want to continue on posting more content, be able to ho hope to be able to uh, encourage others and help others as well along the way. Um, thank you guys again, and we'll get right to the drawing video with Draw Chat. And let's let's hit it up. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna get started. From what I've learned so far. How about that for a circle? Because it looks terrible. Okay. There we go. I think the line is a little bit, little bit off. All right, so maybe. Drawing experience is fun. I should draw here more often. Why is it not erasing? That as well. Oh. Probably because I have stabilization very high. Alright, so switch back to pencil. And I forgot to have that reference there. There we go. That looks decent. Mad decent, mad decent. We think have a line here. Hmm. Huh. Let's see what we can do here. So we're still within our frame of reference. Nope, I went over. Okay, there we go. How about that? How about that, you guys? I probably went over, but it's okay. I think it's all right. We're gonna make mistakes here and there. I draw my eyes with that sickle formation. And then we'll use that reference down here. We'll do the same thing. We'll make our eyes. Looks nice so far. Do something a little bit different, yeah? Like that. 
So let me lower the stabilization a little bit so that in that way. There we go. Now let's zoom in and then we'll do this. Pretty cool. I know I could probably just use a paint bucket, but no problemo, ladies and gentlemen. I am learning, and I have to learn how to do this. If you guys are wondering, this is a um, iPad. I have to increase the stabilization a little bit more. iPad Pro uh, with an M1. I know that they just re recently released the iPad um, Pro M4. Those are really nice. If you're looking for a new one, uh, those are really cool because they have the side camera. I really like that where they put the camera right here on the top. Okay, so shall we do the other eyes? I'll increase the stab stab stabilization because it helps me make them, them circles good. She looks kind of funny. This was my elbow. How long is my? She looks funny. Oh my gosh, those eyes. They really don't look that great. But how about how about that? And I know because the female character has the lashes on the bottom. This is really like a skill that one has to pick up, especially if you're like drawing and talking at the same time. Man, oh man. It's cool though. I like talking to you guys. Um, not too shabby. What did I just do? Oh, there we go. Not too shabby. So let's do something like a basic nose here. And a big wide smiley face. Maybe too wide. Big wide smiley face. Yeah. It's looking great. It's too, too great. Okay. So what if... What if I had the eyebrows? All right, you know what? I probably have the head. I always do this. I don't know why. I probably have the head. Probably better like, oh my gosh, this, this does not look good. All right. Maybe have the head like this. Why do I always do that? It's like, it's like I'm drawing alien head I want it I want it I want to make that urgh, I want to make that good circle man still looks like an alien head all right how about this I know I could probably mirror this but I don't want to I don't want to mirror it lower that raise this these as the guide guidelines ain't too shabby ain't too bad okay so take that out um what about some eyebrows I think it's a good idea to have eyebrows yeah My, f my, my hand just shakes a lot. Maybe I had too much coffee. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I think the ears are a little bit weird, but. Oh, I don't know why I just did. But. How about that? How about that? And we'll make the neck. Is 
she is a fan she is a fan of this work okay so maybe learning from this and just getting better as I go just kind of progress hey you know I'm showing the whole world that I suck at this but hey guess what I'm drawing and you're drawing too and you're getting better just as much as just as much as I am because together we will rule the drawing nation and um man this, this all worked out in my head something like this actually it's really not that bad could have been worse man could have been worse but how about that there we go there was a shortcut I think the I made the brush size a little bit I mean the whoops the racer size a little bit too big nope not big enough Okay. Should have been a cowboy. Alright. Not too not too shabby, not too bad. It's fun drawing their eyes, what do you think? Okay, it's not bad. Erase that. It is progress as we go. So with hair, I am intimidated. I don't know if I want to draw hair, 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 but I will just leave it as this. Um, if you want to critique my artwork, leave it in the comments. Tell me how terror bad it is but just don't hurt my feelings please <laughs> at least try not to I'm a strong warrior I can take it but um all right so I think that's kind of it where I'm gonna stop but if you like more leave a comment a like um, subscribe if you want to see more of this drawing journey and I'm just going to be ranting and talking and just showing my progress at work but I really appreciate all of y'all being a part of this community being a part of the art community of YouTube and just showing the world that together we can do it we can do it together yes alrighty thank you guys take care